Evening, folks. Brian here, Geo Magnetic Earthwatch, Saturday, January 11, 2025. In a moment, I'm going to show you our uh, current jet streams. However, I'm showing you how they normally should be. We have two patterns or flows of jet streams. Um, uh, first, we have uh, four jet streams. We have two polar region jet streams and two subtropical jet streams. There is actually a fifth. We call it the equatorial, which flows in the opposite directions. Now, our jet streams guide and influence our weather systems. Surface meteorological conditions are highly affected by the path of the jet streams, uh, which affect uh, location and intensity of storms, as well as temperature and precip precipitation patterns in different uh, regions of our planet. First, we have a zonal flow, which is more or less a west to east pattern. Then we have a meridional pattern with the highly amplified troughs and ridges, wavy patterns. Now, normally when solar activity is high, the jet streams are tight, stable, and zonal flow, west to east. But when solar activity is low, the jet streams become weak and wavy. Now, a highly meridional flow can uh, cause atmospheric blocking and cause uh, much below and much above normal temperatures. Therefore, forecasting becomes uh, more challenging and problematic. Let's take a look at a couple of other images here. So now it starts to become slightly meridional. So this is more of a nice stable zonal flow. Now let's go to our current uh, jet streams. I'm going to start off in the southern hemisphere. Now we're going to shift up to the northern hemisphere and what I call snakes and ladders. jet streams. I've explained this recently. I'm going to do it again because I think it's important. So we're more, sta more or less stabilized, more or less a zonal flow here over the Asias. Then as we come to the opposite side of the Asias, becomes more chaotic, as you can see. And I'll explain my uh, theory behind this. This has to do with the geomagnetic excursion and the weakening of our protective magnetic field. So magnetic north has already left uh, Nunavut about 1903, 1904. It's crossed over the uh, center of axial North Pole and is now headed towards Siberia. As it progresses in this direction here, Magnetic south has already left Antarctica and is approximately more or less right here and is heading towards Convergence Point, Indian Ocean off of Sumatra. On the opposite side of this point, the further the distance between the two migrating poles, we have this chaotic mess. I'll show you in a moment. <clears throat> so our uh, protective magnetic field is generated within the outer core of our planet. It is like a bar magnet. So the magnetic field lines will leave the south polar regions and circle the planet and re-emerge back to the north magnetic cusp. The further away 
from the points of a magnet, such as here, the weaker the magnetic field lines. These are iron shavings spread over a piece of paper over a magnet, and stronger are the magnetic cusps. Now, right now, our poles are on uh, a magnetic excursion. So the north and south are drawing closer to each other. Uh, let's just say this is going to be uh, Siberia, and this is the uh, offshore Antarctica, Australia, converging on the Indian Ocean region, which means on the opposite side of the globe. The two points on the opposite side of the convergence of the magnetic poles, the distance is increasing. Weakening and destabilizing the magnetic field lines on the opposite side of the poles, the Americas. So a weak magnetosphere can affect the jet streams. <clears throat> there is the uh, mechanism of the varying pressure of the uh, solar winds upon the uh, magnetosphere, penetrating through the layers of the atmosphere, where it causes uh, changes in uh, major wind patterns. One study published in the uh, journal Nature Geoscience in 2017 found that the jet streams shifted northward uh, during the last geomagnetic excursion. And in fact, I posted a recent article. Others have also posted this information recently that the jet streams, in fact, have been moving northwards. Happening now. A weaker magnetic field makes the jet streams more susceptible to disturbances from solar activity. Therefore, if true, as the geomagnetic excursion continues and the two uh, magnetic poles draw closer to each other on one side of the planet, on the opposite side of the planet, that distance is going to further increase further weakening and destabilizing the magnetic field lines on that side of the planet, which affects our jet streams over the Americas. Therefore, as suggested by people such as uh, Carlos Ferrada, Edgar Casey, John Moore, etc., we're going to expect violent climatic shifts weather events such as we're already experiencing. Weather forecasting will be more than problematic as the jet streams continue to destabilize, become more chaotic. This explains, for example, during one season up in Canada, 2021, we had a massive heat dome. It was not heat increased ultraviolet radiation coming in. Then those zones, those patterns will shift and change throughout that side of the uh, of the planet. This would also suggest an explanation for increased higher winds in California, for example. Therefore, it is important, and I will try and do so daily, I do a brief video to show you our uh, jet streams. That is all.